On November 4th and 5th, join us at Lloyd Center for our second annual Fall Black Podcast Festival, Reimagining Black Love. Here's a clip from previous Black Podcast Festivals, if you're interested. Yeah, um, so I have a lot of Black men in my family and my uncles. I always say that they've been through so much and they never go and talk to anybody about it. Right. Um, And so being a therapist, I, I have not had a lot of black men in my chair Mm -hmm. Um, although people know it and I've reached out to people watching some of the things that they have done to themselves or that self-sabotaging and hurting themselves in ways that they don't even know that they are because they are they are in pain right now right Um, they get highly offended like leave me alone sis I'm good and all of this and I'm like okay you're you're really not but okay (laughs) (laughs) Um, and I think that it's that whole piece of being vulnerable and opening yourself up um, that is a masculinity thing, you know, and I don't think that a lot of black men are always taught that it's okay to cry. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be open up. It's okay to say I'm mad and I'm not in a good space and you need to leave me alone. Right. Like, it's okay that the world dislike. It's not okay that the world dislikes you, but it's okay that it hurts you, that they dislike you. Right. Um, and that's just something that has been perpetuated in our culture for a long time. I think the younger generation is now more open What's to right? mental health and wellness. Um, but definitely, you know, it's not as many that it needs to be. If that sounds interesting to you, join us November 4th and 5th at Lloyd Center for Reimagining Black Love, a Black podcast festival.